Okay, what's up, everybody? Willis here. So in this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you everything there is to know about breeding in Power World. This is going to be an in-depth guide on how to get different perks on your new eggs, how to incubate them, how to basically get the variations for different pals in the game. Um, before we begin the video as well, I am giving away a copy of Power World. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, just leave a like on the video, leave a comment and make sure you're subscribed. Um, but yeah, let's jump into it. So obviously, starting off to obviously breed in Power World, you will need a breeding ranch. I'm pretty sure you unlock this. Uh, I think it's like level, you unlock it at level 19. So it's sort of not at the start of the game. You will need to level up a bit. But yeah, once you have a breeding farm, you then need to find two different types of pals you want to breed. So um, what I would recommend is look at this list on screen right now and sort of figure out what you want. If, if you didn't know what the pal fusions are, they are actually variations of the main pals in the game. So for instance, we have uh, the Dinosaur and the variation of the Dinosaur is actually the Dinosaur Lux, which is the electric version of the dinosaur. So to basically get the electric version, you would then need to obviously breed a normal dinosaur with an electric pal, and that can be any electric pal. As long as they are male and female, you will then get the variation. Now, you can catch these variations out in the wild, but most of the variations are in like high level areas. So if you potentially want to get the pals early, what you can do is just breed them instead. So, to actually breed in Pal World, you need a very hard resource, which is cake, funny enough. Um, to get cake, what you actually need to get cake is a kitchen. Now, the ingredients are kind of annoying to get, but I'll show you guys how to do it pretty easily. So I'm using the electric kitchen, but you can use a normal kitchen. So it's here, as you can see. So you need flour, which is obviously from the mill. Uh, red berries, which is from the farm milk and eggs i'll show you guys how to get those and honey as well so a really quick way to get honey um you can either find it out in the wild or what you can actually do is get a bee guard and you can actually put this in the ranch um as well for eggs and honey it's pretty self-explanatory you can use a mozzarina for the milk and you can also use a chickpea for the eggs now Put those in your ranch and they will drop the resource you need on the floor and just farm away. So to get these three different um, pals, I'll show you guys right now. So the Moose Arena is actually in this location by here. So the starting area is over here. The Moose Arena is over by here. And they're just basically in this whole area. Catch a Moose Arena, put it in your ranch. Obviously, at the start of the game, probably one of the first pals you saw was the Chicopee. Chickpeas obviously spawn all around the starting area as well as along these islands. Put some chickpeas in your ranch and then finishing up with the bee guard. Now, bee guard actually spawns sort of north. Um, so the starting area is here. You can go to these sort of like top right-ish islands by here to get yourself a bee guard to get the honey. And that's pretty much all of the ingredients you need for the cake. Once you have the cake, you put the cake inside the little chest outside of the breeding area which is this one here it actually spawns with the breeding pen and every time you put a cake in you'll get an egg but obviously you need to work up the bar so in this instance i've actually got a um a jet dragon because the jet dragon actually has a insane perk which you can put on other pals so as you can see here it has the legend perk um where it has 20 percent increased attack 20% increased defense and 15% increased movement speed. It's also got Divine Dragon and Runner as well. So if you were to breed this with uh, any other creature, it has a high chance to get the Legend perk, one of the best perks in the game, I think, and potentially one of the other ones as well. So for instance, if you're ever trying to mix um, these passive skills, obviously take a look at the two parents and basically you can mix and match so what you would basically want to do is mix two and two so have a really good like first pair and then you can pair it with another one so you just have a baby that has four yellow perks so an example of this would be yeah something like this so it's got workaholic burly body stronghold strategist now obviously 
only get the perks that you need if you're using it outside. So obviously get combat perks if you're using it outside in your team. If you're doing it for maybe the pals that are in the base, obviously you want the, the working perks. So increased work speed and stuff like that. It all depends on what you want. So just gather pals that have really good like perks. Because I think this is probably going to be the end game for Pal World is putting stuff like just this Vanguard on other monsters just to make them more stronger. So for this instance, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put a Jet Dragon female and I'm actually going to mix it with uh, a Nox. So this should be an interesting outcome uh, to see what we get. So as you can see, love is blossoming between the two pals and it's basically going to fill up this circle by here. It does take a bit of time. Um... But yeah, once that fills up, obviously, you should be able to get yourself an egg. Now, those were eggs from before. Um, so yeah, I'll be back when uh, this fills up. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we get. So just before we do as well, I want to show you guys what perks we have already. So unfortunately, the Nox has the Coward perk, which isn't great. And the Jet Dragon has um, Legend, Divine Dragon, Runner. Now, it's not always guaranteed that you'll get the negative ones, but you kind of don't want to breed the ones that have negative uh, like stats on them, if that makes sense, because they have a chance to go to the uh, the baby, if that makes sense. All right, so the egg has just finished. We're going to incubate the egg now and see what perks we get and see what power we get. There we go. So we actually got a Bushy with the Legend perk and Divine Dragon. So that is actually insane where is he now let me just look for him real quick my thing is a mess here he is so he's got 20 percent increased uh dragon attack damage and he's also got uh the legend perk which is 20 percent attack 20 percent defense 15 percent movement speed the only problem is like i mentioned it carried across the coward perk from the um the pal that we had with coward so you can sort of see how you can min max this um to obviously get the best perks now this is a very good pal um if i were to put like a dragon skill on him he would do 20 percent increased damage because of the dragon attack and then he's also doing another 20 percent attack because of the legend perk so yeah there's a lot of perks in this game which i'm still haven't really seen much about but if you guys see a cool perk and it has potential for like breeding and stuff like that definitely keep that pal for breeding and you can just transfer it around now Granted, yes. Unfortunately, that isn't the perfect pal I just made, but you can sort of see where you can bring this and sort of mess with it. Um, but for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's been uh, my little guide on how to breed in Pal World. Um, when you do manage to get a Jet Dragon, um, try and breed it as much as you can because that perk that it has is insane. Um, as well, if you're trying to breed pals, which give you bonuses in your base, for the increased like working and stuff like that make sure to do that as well it's going to help you out a ton and yeah with that being said guys i will see you in my next video be sure to come and join the discord where we have a pal world section we're also opening up a public server soon just for the discord so if you want to play in multiplayer with me um come and join also, at the end of this video, I'm going to include the, um, the spreadsheet that has pretty much all the combinations of the different, um, I guess, fusions of PAL you can get. So that will be included at the end of the video. And uh, there'll be timestamps in this video if you want to skip to a specific point, whether it was from me making the cakes, um, just talking about the different perks and stuff, and obviously what you should mix. Um, yeah, but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.